Hey everyone, welcome back to Star Wars Dark Forces. The last time we blew up a uh, the robotics facility on, uh, what was it, Antivis? Antivi? And this time we need to go to Nar Shada because, uh, let's find that out. Must be making a big dent in Mach's plans, Kyle. Got work that he, got word that he has placed a healthy death mark on your head. Yeah, when, when's, uh, when's Boba Fett gonna come after us? We saw him for a little bit in a previous episode. So every bounty hunter in the system will be out for my hide, oh boy. I've tracked some smuggler ships that make routes to and from Gromus and Antibi, and they're all headed to Nar Shada. Oh boy, so we're... It's like going in the middle of Moss Eisley, you know? Going right into the middle of a, a villain... A, a hive of scum and villainy. Just the place you want to be when you have a price on your head. Smugglers must be getting their roots for the Empire somehow, and this is the hub for, that, for the activity. Okay, so we need to find some uh, navigational charts here on uh, on Narshada. Like, really, we're just gonna scour all of Narshada for uh, for the Imperial navigational charts. Well, okay, if you say so, Jan. Let's get started. Oh, what's this? Okay. Alright, so we need a yellow key. Oh, there's a door up there. I, I totally missed it, unfortunately. There's a switch over here. Oh. Okay, I, I, I am not in the mood. Little, little training droid. These things, like, do no damage, but they're just kind of annoying, you know? I think I heard another one. Oh, well. Oh, hello. Let's try to get the drop on us. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Grimorian Guard. You are not going get to the, get the bounty on my head. I think that's the justification for everyone just kind of attacking us on this planet. Is just, uh... Well, we have a, a death mark on our head, and all these people want to get paid. All these, all these poor souls, all these poor pit guards, are just uh, trying to make their way in the universe. But unfortunately for them, so are we. So we need to uh, take care of them before they take care of us. What's this way? Oh, there's a wall that way. Hello. This level uh, uses the the other kind of weapon energy a lot, so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna have an excuse. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. I'm actually gonna have an excuse to uh, use you know different weapons because usually it's it's like the E11 that we use all the time. Oh, hello. These these grenadiers have extremely far range. Like I could understand if they're trying to shoot us, but they are just. Just tossing those grenades. I'm spending a lot of time here because um, I'm going to show you a trick. You see that bridge over there? That bridge leads to the end of the level. And I'm going to show you a trick uh, later on in the video to uh, pretty much skip the level. You know, last level I showed you some speed run. Oh, hello. Jeez. Oh. By the way, we get a concussion rifle, and this is how we uh, get recharges on our, our energy. Because uh, picking these weapons up from the uh, Trandoshans gives us a lot of energy. And plus, we get a sweet, sweet weapon out of it. But we also have to be careful, because Trandoshans are extremely dangerous. In addition to these these fine gentlemen. Alright. This weapon's kind of strange, because like, you can't actually see the projectile, but you, you don't really have to aim it that terribly much. 
It, like, it, it still has a projectile, you just kind of can't see it, you know? But thankfully you don't really have to aim it that much. You have to be careful with it. Because you... Because you don't want to want to fire it up close to people. Or else you'll explode yourself. Alright. Oh. You also have to be careful of these trend oceans, because they are extremely deadly. It's very difficult to dodge the concussion rifle. To the point where it's it's almost not really worth trying to dodge it. So we can't get up there. I kind of want to take care of this guy first. Hello. You have to be, you have to be really careful on this level, because just like around any corner, there might be like a trend ocean ready to blast your way with his concussion rifle. Oh, that was fine, sir. <laughs> These guards are actually large enough that I can get some use out of my uh, this shotgun effect. Oh, hello, stormtrooper. It seems that we have landed in the correct area. If there's stormtroopers around. And concussion rifles are actually very good against these guys, because it just one-shots them. Against any of the aliens, it, it takes multiple shots with a concussion rifle, but against stormtroopers, it, uh, it doesn't. It takes one shot. Alright, what's over here? Oh, more Imperials. A single Imperial. Okay. Oh. I see you. Gosh darn it. The door closed behind me. No. Well. Let's see. I, I would very much like some, some health and shields. That would improve my situation greatly. As it tends to do in video games. Alright. Be careful of the, uh, the Gron. Blue key door. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I am. There's just explosions everywhere, and and this is not a very safe place to be, by any stretch of the imagination. Let me have some shields though, so it's not. Not that bad. Ugh. No mercy. No mercy from these fellows. I actually had some like some some spawn protection there. It looked like like I, I got exploded by that guy, but I didn't take any damage. It's okay. We have we have four more lives. I probably don't have to be as cautious as, I, as I'm being. Although it doesn't help, I'm still being exploded from every possible angle. There's a... I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm leaving. Ugh. I'm not a I'm not a big fan of this level. I'm not gonna lie. I 
It's just, it's just like, it's it's usually whenever, uh, whenever I have to play like a Narshada level in a Star Wars game, I'm, I'm not a big fan. You know, it's kind of like sewer levels. It's just like a, a dark, nasty place. Everything just kind of looks the same. You know, like, it, it's very maze-like, it's very labyrinthine. It's kind of hard to go know where you're going sometimes. Oh, hello. It's very easy to get lost. Like, uh, for this level, for the longest time, I didn't know if this passageway was here. Because it just kind of, it, it kind of, if you're not, oh, you know, looking for it, it, it's very easy to just like, oh, oh, here's like a, here's the end of the, this way, leads to a door. And I just didn't know this little passageway was here. And, uh, yeah, you, you kind of get stuck in the level sometimes. At least I did. Maybe you didn't. Because over here... ...needs per progress. Oh, and more of these little buggers. Uh, door. Oh, that was her. It actually has a revive in here. I'm just gonna leave that be and uh, come back for it if I run low on health. Here's the key. There's actually a red key somewhere else in this level. I don't think we need it. Alright. Again, it's, it's kind of hard to tell where I've been. I just kind of like run around like a like a madman until I eventually see. I just I just came from this area, and I just ran straight back to it. All right, so here's the blue key door. I'm gonna hold off on getting that because I, I kind of want to see more of the level. Even though I said I'm not I'm not really a fan. This. Why does this have, like, no texture on it? I mean, there's a texture there, but it's, like, different from the following wall, the surrounding wall textures. I thought that was, like, a secret door or something. I hear someone shooting at us with a uh, concussion rifle. Yeah, here's the, the red key door. This trend ocean I saw. I think. Yep, there he is. See, I actually dodged his shot there. So maybe it is worth uh, trying to dodge it. It's just very hard to, because it's, you know, you can't see it. It's almost instantaneous when it hits you. So there's, there's more stuff. Oh, here it is. It's like a, it's like a bar. What is this? Okay, got the red key. You know, a lot of these guys are probably just like enjoying their like enjoying their drinks. You know, they're they're just you know probably not having the the happiest of times on Arshada, but still, you know, they're just like minding their own business. Then the Kyle just comes in and what's that? That's a, a shield overcharge. Sweet. Like this guy, he was probably just having, you know, a good time, just in this... Why is this so dark? He was probably just having a, you know, an alright time. Oh yeah, this is like... It's like a, a fake wall? I don't quite understand 
Maybe it's like a hologram? I don't know. Yeah, all these people are probably just, you know, enjoying the... I have a shield overcharge, what do I care? They're probably just having a, a good old time. And then Kyle just comes in, he's like, I need to find the the plans or whatever. And he just, he just starts shooting everyone. I mean, these, these guys aren't the, uh... These guys aren't the most savory individuals. Most upstanding gentlemen, but still. They probably didn't deserve it. Well, maybe some of them did, but... Cut up, man. What's, it, what's the deal? See, even though I, I have the blue key, which is like towards the end, of the, which takes you to the end of the level, like there's still so much to explore. There, there's still so much more to the level that technically isn't necessary. Oh. Well. And it's like if, if you miss the blue key, like you can get you can get lost in the level. Like you can you can waste so much time. I think this actually leads to a secret. Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of glad that I came this way. Just to... Uh, oh, extra life. To make up for the one we lost. The elevator went down so fast I actually took fall damage trying to catch up to it. Oh, water shells. Sweet. I could actually go back and get that revive before we continue. I think I... if I can find... well... Well... That wasn't the way towards progress. So now we're definitely gonna go back and get the revive. If we can find it. That's to uh, the start of the level. That's the blue key door. See, I'm kind of figuring out my way around now. Hey, here we go. Here's the, uh... Here's the revive. Got it. Uh, this is not the way to go. Here we go. I probably shouldn't be peeking around corners with a concussion rifle. It's not a very close quarters-y weapon. I'm gonna do it anyway, because I'm a rebel. I'm literally a rebel. This this Grom just did not did not have any consideration for his fellows. You see him just throwing grenades on, on that dude's back? That was that's cold, man. As soon as that door opened, you see, you see that Gron? He was like, oh shit, it's Kyle. And he just ran. He just ran, turned around, threw a grenade. That was pretty funny. Oh. If you can stun lock those guys quick enough, like they can't really get a shot off. Oh, there was another door back here. I kind of want to check out first. And you kill more individuals who may or may not have reserved it. There's like a room up there. Don't quite know how to get there. It's like a secret elevator. Yeah, there's like stormtroopers up there. I don't really know how to get up there though. No. Onwards. Oh, is this, does this take me up there? Yes, it does. There, there's so much to this level. Like I said, this, there's so much that technically isn't necessary. It's so easy to get lost. I can't tell if that's a, a good thing or a bad thing. It's kind of a bad thing if you get horribly lost, right? But it's good in the sense that, you know, you can explore and and it, it, you know, adds depth to the world. 
Depends on how it's used, I believe. Oh, this game. I probably could have dodged all of those. Oh. Alright. I have a present for you. I think, I think we're about done with this level. Just have to murder one poor individual with an axe. And that's... Yeah, here we are. Here's that bridge I, uh, I showed you forever and a half ago. Because here... There's a little... Little Imperial office. With the uh, navigational data. I would love to, Jan. Let's go ahead and go to the next mission. Alright, so here I am back across the bridge. And I'm gonna show you a trick. It's another speedrun trick. Alright, let's check this out. Ugh. Oh holy crap, did you see that? Did you see that? That that Gron just air shot me with a grenade. That was sweet. I can't even be mad about that. That's why we wanna take care of this uh take care of the Grons in this bridge. Before we try to jump across. That probably would have made it too. But that ground was like, nope. Just air shot him in the grenade. Alright, let's, let's uh let's do take two of that. Uh, there we go, first shot. And yeah, you can just skip the whole level like that. Uh, you can come back here and like grab a concussion rifle from this uh turned ocean here. Because otherwise you wouldn't get it. But yeah, that's uh that's basically it. You can just skip the whole level. Make it like a, a two minute journey instead of like 20 to 30 minutes like it would be. And uh, yep, there's a navigational charts. So on to the episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Superman, and may the force be with you.